the Sudanese army and its rival parliamentary force resumed peace talks last week in a new push to end the nearly seven-month conflict between its Sudanese warring functions. The revived talks between representatives from the Sudanese army led by Abdel Fatal al-Burhan and the Rapid Support Force military paramilitary commanded by Mohammed Hamdani Dagaro are underway in the south coastal city of Jeddah. The Kingdom's Foreign Ministry said in a statement Thursday, the talks are being blockaded by both Liyad Lia, and Washington, the statement said. The RISF and the Army both confirmed on Wednesday that they would participate in the talks. Sudan was plunged into chores in mid-April when simmering tensions between the military and the RISF exploded into open warfare in the capital Khartoum and other areas across the East African nation. The conflict has reduced the capital Khartoum and other urban areas into battlefields, wrecking the country's already dilapidated infrastructure. The previous peace talks were held in Jeddah earlier this year but blocked down in late June. Washington and the leader accused both sides of for failing to abide by ceasefire deals they had agreed to. Since April, there have been at least nine temporary ceasefire deals and all have foundered. In its statement, the South Foreign Ministry said it hoped the flesh negotiations will lead to another ceasefire agreement and also a political agreement that will return security, stability and prosperity for Sudan and its people. More than 9,000 people have been killed and in, a conf in the conflict, according to the Armed Conflict Location and Event Data Project, which tracks Sudanese war. The fighting has driven over 4.5 million people to free their homes to other places inside Sudan and more than 1.2 million to seek refuge in neighboring countries, the UN Migration Agency says.